on everybody rain is here we got another episode of tales of arise uh picking up where we left off we are in i don't remember the name of the city so forgive my old brain but dolahim we just well sort of fought him uh now there's an uprising in the castle so we're in the castle i guess so it's going to be dungeon time i guess so without further ado i mean let's kick it off man Oh, and by the way, what I wanted to mention too, oh, it's blocked. What I wanted to mention too is I've been sick for a while. I think I mentioned that in the last episode of Artanelico. I haven't been able to do any gameplay. And so now I'm finally back. I'm feeling great. All the doors are locked. Okay, so am, all the doors are locked. Can I just go right up to the Lord's chamber then or what? What the? That Kesley, did he manage to deploy those barriers inside the, these barriers inside the palace? Uh, I guess that means we're on the right track to finding him. Is there, any way, is there any way we can get rid of these? If memory serves as a release mechanism somewhere, my first guess would be inside his personal office. Yeah, yeah well, good luck with that shite. You can bust that wall open, can't you? Well, let's give it a try and find out! You sure about that? <laughs> From what I hear, that thing can stop even a cannonball. Uh, the second thought, let's see if there's a release mechanism somewhere. Yeah, lol, shut up. <laughs> okay, so we got fights. Let me see, what do we got here? Kisara, do you have any idea just what Kelzalik might be planning at the palace? It's hard to say. I've never seen him use any powerful arts, and I don't think he's particularly skilled with any weapons either. However, I have noticed him accompanied by something strange from time to time. What kind of strange? I don't know. I couldn't see anything with him, but I could sense something was there. Probably some sort of Zugal. An invisible Zugal? Well, that's great. We'd better be careful in any case. I'd rather we not find out after it jumps us and tries to rip our throats out. What? String scores to tug at the heartstrings. What? Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. What? A, wait, 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 wait. What am I? Okay. Well, that was easy. Finally, get rid of the wall. To think they would hide it in Lord Dohalim's personal quarters. The nerve of these people. They won't get away with it for much longer. I'm familiar instruments are set out on display. You can't touch them. What the? Let's go. Yeah, okay. Back to the Lord's Chamber, we are going. So we got a heal, so that tells me. Wait, am I in the right area? Hell no. What about the treasury? Of course it's locked. Shit. Alright, well. We're about to go in and uh, probably fight. Let's go. Well, well, if it isn't the slaves and the traitor, I don't remember giving you permission to enter the palace. So it's true. You really are the one behind all this, Kelzalik. I don't remember giving you permission to speak either. Know your place, slave. You better hope he's really strong, because I think Kassar could knock him out in one now flick. see his true colors. This old man. Yeah. A despicable excuse for a human being. The really, I guess that makes him pretty ordinary, huh? <laughs> Kelzalik, you were Lord Dohalim's Burn. most trusted advisor, his closest ally. Why would you betray him? Don't be a fool. I didn't serve him because I wanted to. I expect a mere slave would know, but there are many powerful contenders for the position of Lord. A contest of strength determines the one who will be Lord and undisputed ruler of a realm. There is no choice in the selection. 
If my master had any ambitions of becoming the Sovereign, I would have gladly served him. But he had no intention of fighting for the Crown. Indeed. Can you slaves even imagine how that looked to the rest of us? Enduring the whims of an ambitionless lord, all we could do was wait for the end as we suffered through our humiliation. You want suffering? Try being Danon for a day. So you right. plotted against Lord Dohalim in secret. And when my brother found out... And I would do it all again if it meant returning Menancia to its rightful state! A realm where Danons are slaves and Renans their masters. It's the natural order. It's... Enough! Who are you to decide what is natural or rightful, traitor? Migal. My brother. He dreamed of building a world free of suffering. He gave his life for that dream. And all you've managed to build is a lake of death. You. You killed my brother. And now you'll die for it. Let's go. And there's this invisible monster. What the fuck is this? Ew. Well, whatever. We're higher level than him. Why? Okay, I imagine. Have you no shame? It can hide itself. Trying to go with their weak point, but I don't feel so hot. You should sit this one out and miss all the fun. No way. All right, let's see what Kasora can do as a Vanished again? Listen carefully and keep your eyes peeled. Demon Pang! Thank you. Uh, Lunar corruption! Eat this! Just I'm done! Let's no. tear you it. apart! Seven Eye Aqua! Here's a healing heart! Talon Hurricane! Nice. Rising Water! Water Take it! Stern up! Hear me! Tiger Flame! Burning Eagle! I'm just getting started! She's got some nice movements, but man, she's like weird. One more! These fists have got your name on them! Here I come! Never bring up it! Start up! Wait, wait! This one's mine! I'll end you! Look sharp! Here I come! I'll crush you! Go ahead, Law. Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Kick his ass. There you go. There you go. That's it. Into the tiger blade. Going in. Take this. Eat this. Talon Hard Tiger Blade. I mean, I hope they know I'm targeting the weak point because. Oh, he's not too hard. Well, we're a little bit higher level than him. Oh, we broke him. Let's go. Let's go. Commander of Heaven. Phoenix Oh, lovely. Did he just overlimit? He did. I thought I blocked that. Thanks, Shion. Plenty left. Water snake, wait. Turtle demon fang. Here, let me help. Trouble. Fuck it. Okay. We got. There we go. I don't know why it made me target the. Oh no 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 no! Don't do that. Water snake, wait. Falling storm. Here, let me help. Eat this. That's my cue. Shut him down. Uh, apparently it didn't work. It went a little too fast. I keep forgetting to press the button because I don't have Ridwell in my party. Nope. No. Uh, so, oh shit. They need to heal. 
Looking, looking good. They would need what, uh, lemon jail, is it? Uh, Xion, give it to Xion. Oh, 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 oh. I could have used my shield, but I forget about that because it made me switch. It made me switch targets. I don't like that. Damn it. All right, come on, let's go. Let's get something going. Uh, I tried to. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's overcharging now. So. No, block. <laughs> okay, she was smart for that. There we go. I sometimes forget that I can use those strikes when I'm the character himself, too. Go ahead, Alf, and do your thing, bro. But we're still not fighting the Keslik, which I imagine he's... Oh, here we go. Alf, I'm trying to finish it off. Scarlet Inferno! Almost. This one's mine. Oh, shiz it. I didn't see that. Oh, not now, not ever. oh, no, we're about to kill this boy. Let's go. This one's mine. Tiger Blade. Glimmer Dragon. We go. And I'll stop your life. Yeah. Nice fight. That was good. That was fun. Kasara's moves are okay. I like her, but man, she's heavy. These slaves are despicable. Your dreams of attaining lordship are no more. Give up, Kelzalik. Attaining lordship? <laughs> Ridiculous. Only those who possess a master core can become a lord. <laughs> what did you think just anyone could do it? But then, well, we have his master core. accomplish with this. Didn't you betray your lord? <laughs> yes, that's true. However, there are other lords. Other lords? So you mean? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Redemption. Last, the truth is revealed. Doholim, where have you been this whole time? Cleaning up. Yeah, really. Kelzalek, you've made your last of these. The fruit of Helgen? Uh, it can't be. You found my production facility? Correct. And I tore it down. But something still troubles me. It's clear that this is no ordinary fruit. Nor was the equipment used to grow it. You couldn't have done all this without outside assistance. Indeed. Something like this must have come from another realm. Sar, perhaps? You actually expect me to talk now? At this point, the contest for the crown would be over soon enough. And you will finally receive the punishment you deserve for your weakness. I've already received my punishment. <laughs> May this be my final act as the Lord of Elder Men and Sia. Ooh. Go. To Mahak Sar, Ganeth Horrors, wherever you think you'll find a suitable lord. Don't let him live. At least break his legs or something. So, wait, is he going to be like a part of the party? That makes sense because of the, the, the thumbnail that I use. I didn't really think about it. I didn't really look at Are him. You really. all right with this? <laughs> I, I didn't pay attention to the thumbnail. I'm sorry. He did. But My old thumbnail. 
He's nothing more than one common, ordinary Renan. <laughs> He's not worthy of my time or my anger, right? <sighs> so after everything, was the dream of coexisting just a dream? What is that? Those are the cheers of the brave Danans who overpowered Kelzalik's forces. Wait, they challenged the Renans? Indeed. A militia made up of Danan guardsmen, Renan supporters, and of course, the Gold Dust Cats. Do we have you to thank for bringing them all together? Regardless of what your original motivations were, your dream of coexistence saved countless lives. And now, those people out there are fighting to keep that dream alive. That's something real. Be that as it may, they do so now by their own hands. These people no longer need any lord. Hmm. Well, at least we have a good lord. At least... Where are you going? Mm -hmm. To put an end to the crown contest. So long as its madness persists, peace will remain ever out of reach. I cannot allow it to continue. The Crown Contest impacts far more than just the Danans. You're choosing to fight Lenegas and the entire Empire. I am well aware. However, if I wish to keep this dream from dying, then I have little choice in the matter. Besides, it's the least I can do. <sighs> oh, come on. She'll forgive him. Or she should. He didn't kill her brother so on purpose. Or at least he didn't intend on doing so. You may be decided on your path, but that doesn't make it any less difficult. Why not walk that road with us? Yeah, there we go. Pardon? You heard me. We're fighting to liberate the Danans. You're fighting for the people of this realm. I'd say we're on the same path, really. It would only make sense for us to walk it together. Danon dissidents side by side with a Renan lord? <laughs> Not the least intriguing invitation I've received. An invitation which would only be proper courtesy for me to accept. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hey, so now we have a lord in our party. I don't see her anywhere. She's pissed off. Maybe she just needed some time alone. A lot's happened. Yeah, she doesn't really care for him right now. She did just lose her brother after all. Right. We ought to keep moving as well. So long as there are lords who draw breath, we have a mission to complete. Kisar is a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. We should hurry on ahead to our next destination. I guess you're right. And it is a lot safer here than it was. What do you think, Dohalim? I am not sure I have the right to say anything as far as Kisara is concerned. Fair enough. Well, I, for one, would like to say goodbye if we get a chance. Let's keep an eye out for her as we leave. Well, I hope we get to keep her... You know, that's the core of Earth. Okay. Dolahim's perk. If Dolahim perfect evades an enemy, his senses become heightened and his rod will gain momentum, greatly extending his range. His penetration will also rise, letting him interrupt enemies and land critical hits on uh, on them more often. Okay. So, oh, can I fast travel? Uh, I can let go. Okay. Uh, so what I do just go straight to what does it say? The South Gate. Okay, Southgate we go. Hopefully, hopefully we get to keep um, Kisara. 
that would suck. I'm pretty sure we do. I don't know why they would give me all the costumes and all that cool stuff. Yes. In that case, you should depart via the south gate rather than the one you arrived through. Right, right. Why is her hair? After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? I hope this place survives. You think the Danins Sorry, and Renins have a chance phone. of getting <laughs> along? We didn't really do much to change things around here, did we? This realm had its own walls to overcome. And in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. I hope they keep going. I really do. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. Wow. Looks like it's there's Kisara. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil. You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. Ever notice how everyone here stands kind of bow-legged? Or like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like they don't fully stand. It's like they've got bad knees. That was awkward. Kasara, though, she walks like she's got bad hips. <laughs> I just, just noticed that she walks like she's in pain. Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Huh? Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be, that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia. And so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant. And because of that, because of me, my brother. Magal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right. But in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free, or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elda Menencia from outside the dream world, for the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renin Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part. That you fight alongside me. Not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do, Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a lord anyway. Well, this crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahag Sar, the Valley of the Four Winds.
Nice. She sounds like what I sound like when I go outside in the cold. Sound like Ric Flair. Right, here goes. You know what? I want to try old guy here. What is he like? Oh, I forgot. He's a Dan and he can use magic. Oh, hell of hell. Ooh, he's super fast. I like this guy. I wish they were all that easy. Ooh, hoo, hoo, I like this guy. We might be getting too strong. Isn't that good? Play along, would you? Feels invigorating <laughs> to dominate a battle. Oh, what is this? I didn't realize there was a pond here. Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. It's terrible to swim in, but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and Eyes. Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here, <laughs> let me show you how it's done. Well, at least they finally get to teach us fishing. They were talking about it like in a few chapters ago. Various fishing points are scattered around Dana, which uh, contain different species of fish to catch. These fish can be used in cooking, sold for gold, or even unlock new titles. So don't hesitate to try new fishing holes when you find them. Okay. Fishing consists of four steps, casting a line, luring the fish, hooking them, and then reeling them in for more information. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. All right, let's close. <laughs> okay. Uh, I hope we catch something decent. Well, Indeed. maybe there. Angry bellies are counting on this. <laughs> Is that working? What am I doing? Does this work? Oh shit! Reel it I in. Oh, okay. Oh shit, wrong way, wrong way. What are we doing? I'll get you next time. Oh, whatever, dude. Okay, let's try this again. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. What am I doing here? <laughs> Looks like I lost it. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, I mean, I've got something. Damn. Oh, that was the wrong one. Oh, almost missed it. Almost missed it. Did I get him? Well, it's not bad per se. You take your fishing pretty seriously. Oh, uh, well, ain't this about a bit? Got him, or did I? Boy, that's a bit of a letdown. Maybe you could keep it as a pet. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting some bad ones. Okay, let's try again. I'll try one more time. I'll get you next time. Oh, you suck. I'll let you go this time. What the hell? Good fishers always keep their cool. What the hell? Ha! 
So it attracts different fish. I've got something. That one was a bit easier. Anybody could reel in that. Hmm. Not too shabby, friend. New record. There you go. Should I just keep it there? Yeah, I think we'll keep it there. I don't know. Anyway. And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara, I think I've seen enough. Oh, oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> That's how fishing goes. It's the way she looks. She was like, let's go. I feel you. I get lost in fishing, too. Fish live in different regions, and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. But that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. When you put it like that, maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicent. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. Okay! Alright. Hey, you look like you know which uh, you were around a rod. I've been f uh, fishing a long time and uh, have built up a good collection of equipment for it. I'll share it with you if you're interested. I just want one thing in exchange. Uh, all I ask you to show me uh, records of any fish you catch. The more you catch, the more equipment I'll hook you up with. <laughs> if you need anything, I'm always here. Don't be afraid to come up and talk to me. And the fishing expert found at Talk Upon can, uh, can teach you the basics about fishing. If you show him your fishing notes, he'll tell you where to go to catch fish you haven't found, as well as giving you new fishing gear based on how much you've caught. Oh, cool. All right, so we got the, okay. We got a quest complete. What the? <laughs> what the? Hey. Hmm? Is it just me, or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Magal, is it really any wonder? Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey, though, huh? How long do you think they're going to keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? <sighs> she really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicent. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Gisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You okay, know, Renwell, calm down. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I mean, I guess it would Jesus, be to think our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought after all. Does that sound all right by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. <laughs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. Yeah, well, Rimwell took that a little too personally. I don't know why. 
Okay, so we're gonna go camp. This is a pain. Why can't the Zoogle stand up? Or stand still? Right. Sorry. <laughs> Perhaps it's time I deploy my secret weapon. I'll stop it right where it stands. Oh, another tutorial fight? Let's go. Okay, so grows. Wait. Golem's boost attack. Prehender grows vines from the ground to ensure uh, enemies. Oh, ensnare enemies and strike them. Sorry. Uh, effective on fleet uh, fleet footed enemies, this nullifies their evasive abilities and downs them. Tutorial start. Let's go. There's nowhere to run from my heart. When he slows down, that's our chance. You're mine. It's like trying to keep up with a wolf. Prepare to be seen. Here I come. Yeah, he's fast as hell. Is it hurts too fast. Stand back. I'll it up. You're mine. That didn't work, did it? Take this. Take this. Can't get out of this. Oh wait, they want me to uh, probably yeah. Cause he's got binds on his legs already. I just realized. That. Can't get out of this. There are two. You're mine. Not Not so okay. So, when fast enemies like wolves or monkeys appear, send in Dalahim, his boost attacks will notify their uh, evasive abilities and keep them from dodging attacks. That's pretty cool. I actually want to be Dalahim, actually. Let me switch to him really quick. I tried to get a strike, but for some reason, I gotta take off that, that mystic art. I did not mean to do that. My bad. Okay, I've got to, I've got to change his arts. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Oh, stop it. Except for the heal. Shion's got heals. That's pretty dope. That's dope! <laughs> I love seeing that. Some interesting moves there, Dohalim. I'm glad you're on our side. I'm simply glad to hear that I can make myself useful to you all. Huh? What's wrong? We seem to have come across some rather unusual objects. What? You mean that pile of garbage? No mere garbage, I assure you. Still, I've never <laughs> seen anything shaped like it before. I'm intrigued. Uh, uh... Are you curious about this stuff, Rinwell? Well, what uh, is it? Oh. Uh, yeah, I think he might have found some old Danon relics. They look like the remains of a bunch of objects that disappeared after the Renans first invaded. And yet here I am, holding them without so much as a second thought. I imagine this sight must be unsettling to you. Not really, just that it must be nice to be a Renan who has time to indulge in stuff like that, unlike the rest of us. Are you interested in this stuff too, Dohalim? Charmed may be a better turn of phrase. I simply love objects that can give me a sense of what their maker was thinking, the history that went into their creation. You see, we Renans have hardly any such objects that trace back to our distant past. I still don't understand what you two find so intriguing about it, though. Why not? We're talking about our own culture here. I get that, but it's not like this stuff is any use now, does it? It's just old. <laughs> Real old. Oh, but it does. Holding it in your hands like this, one can feel and engage with the distant past in a way no history book can ever accomplish. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> well, seeing as it's Dan in history, just make sure you're careful with it. All right, Dohalim? But of course. Crocodile Crusher. Ages ago, this worn down hammer was used to beat back crocodiles those skilled enough to dual wield it with uh dual wield with with it were lauded as champions 
Artifacts. Oh, okay. Artifacts uh, come for special effects simply by having them. Some which have a bonus that can be uh, enjoyed after clearing the game. You can toggle each of these effects on or off from the art of uh, artifact effects list. What? Additional art panels. You can now set six additional arts. Press on the art screen to switch between panels. Arts that are set to the second panel can be executed by pressing the left trigger in either. Oh, wow. Uh oh. You all right there, Shion? Hey, let's stop for a minute. What's up? You already tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. Protecting Shion. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niaz, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses, it will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I... Enough already. I need a break, so we're taking one. <laughs> okay, Alfin. I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm... <laughs> what the hell's the deal? Like... Shion's about to fall over. Oh shit. This guy again. Been looking for you. For me, why? Oh. God damn. There you go, Kasara. He's tough. Who are you? you? Said you were looking for me. Why? Beautiful, precious life. What the? That is all I desire. What? Oh, we got a fight? What the Why hell? Who even are you? God damn, he's fast. Bastard. This guy's not normal. His speed is unbelievable. You mean he even surpasses a lord? No further. Water snake way. Luna blast. Here I come. Target way. Demon pack. You're mine. God, dog, this dude's fast. Okay, okay. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're finished. Demon Pay. Demon Pay. Demon Pay. Demon Pay. Stay away from my friends. Look sharp. Oh, Shion's down. Holy shit. Oh, god dang it. And we took out me and Kisara. I'll heal you all. Not done yet. Healing circle. Did you just heal me? Yes. Only you remember? Right. Oh shit, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Holy hell. That didn't stop him. Oh god. I'll heal you all. Not done yet. Take right, well, Kasara is over limit, so please do it. To stop you dying? Oh, right. Okay, here we go.
Elohim's a lord. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> oh. Oh, god. Jesus. This dude is broken our ass. He is knocking the shit out of us. And then Hoodle's gonna stand up for her, like... Oh god, I thought he was really gonna kill that thing. That you've got very well then die oh she got him in the face Ooh. Use the blazing sword or something. Oh, what's going on? A wretch like you. Okay. What the hell's wrong with his head? Oh. <laughs> Shit. Okay, Alvin. Till next time. Shion, wake up, please. Alvin. Shion. Thanks, but you're kind of crushing me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's okay. And so am I. Well, how is she okay? You got her right in the fucking chest. I'm just saying. Like... Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad. That's... Shion, we thought I'm you were... I'm fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I... Hmm? Never uh, mind. What? It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. Oh, wow. She sold gratitude but this time. I didn't. <sighs> Look, I'm just glad that you're... Alfin? Sorry. I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion. Are you sure you're okay? Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. Yeah. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm fine. Really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. 
It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Hmm. Now that I think of it, between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Danon astral arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Nies, the capital of Mahag Sar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Xion to rest. Yeah, that was hella strange. Hey. I forgot that I do that I do have livestock to uh, maintain, but we're gonna cut it here shortly. That was crazy. Like I, Jesus, like. What was it? Like, Xion? I thought Xion died, dude. I thought that Hoodle died. Hmm. Something wrong? You look like you're deep in thought. Not exactly. I was merely thinking about you two and your sense of etiquette. Uh, oh? Etiquette? Indeed. To be quite frank, I find your lack of manners to be nigh intolerable. <laughs> that's not being frank, that's being an... and... forget it! Do we really need to talk about this now? <laughs> yes, I find such impropriety on your parts to be deeply unsettling. It concerns me greatly. Look at this bougie what dude here. To do? We were slaves. We never got to learn how to be proper like you. Yeah, really. Yeah, what he said. Maybe you missed how we were just focused on surviving. Perhaps, but Kisara here demonstrates that it's quite possible for a Denon to learn proper manners. That's because I was given the opportunity to learn. Moreover, my duties as a guardsman required it. Not every realm is like Menencia, as you well know. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to hold us to some other city standards. Exactly! You've got to remember what it's been like for us living under the Rena elsewhere. Hmm. I will concede that you do indeed make a valid point. It would appear, for all my espousing the virtues of equality between our peoples, I was still looking down on the two of you. Yeah. You don't need to beat yourself up. I wasn't that offended by what you said, man. Nevertheless, I shall mind my words from here on out. Having said that, I do believe you two would still benefit from learning the basics of proper society. I would be more than happy to teach you both when we camp out, if you like. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Acting all prim and proper isn't really my style. <laughs> if you say so. How about you, Law? Would you like to learn? Although I suppose my first task is to reform your attitude toward the idea of good etiquette. <laughs> You're not going to let this go, are you? He is not. He's so bougie. Oh, what a guy. Well, this looks ominous and weird. Pretty, though. Oh. Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. It's from an old Danan legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable, given the evidence. Well, yeah, considering that Alfin did it. They might be able to tell us what happened. Okay, all right, cool. All right, we're gonna cut it here. Um, man, what a trip that one was. 
That was a hell of a fight. I, uh, ooh. So we get a cool character, Dolahim. It's kind of bougie. But that guy, man, I don't know who that guy was. That was a cool, that was a cool fight. He kicked our ass though, but I straight thought Xion was going to die. <laughs> As always, this is a great story. I love the Tales games. Love this game. This is beautiful. The, the places are beautiful. I love it. But, um, Thank you guys uh, for once again for joining me and checking me out, man. I, I always appreciate you guys. Thank you uh, so much. Um, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. All that loveliness. Thank you once again for kicking it here. And as always, the rain once again is out. Peace.